<laughs> what? Dennis Rodman? So let me uh, let me explain every let, let me before y'all go. Let me throw this out here. So early on, Dennis Rodman, uh, with no hand check and with hand check, had the agility to move with any point guard in the '90s. I'm talking Isaiah. I'm talking Dumas. I'm talking your favorite guard. I'm talking Mark Price, John Magic. Stockton. He had the agility, meaning that if we want to do the hammer, y'all remember the hammer? hammer? <laughs> go, go, go! And you slide, and you go left. Put him in the mix. Y'all remember that? Oh man! He could slide left to right laterally with anybody. Yep. Anybody. He was six nine and had the movement of a point guard. So defensively, I thought he was like six seven. About a switch, and he long. And guess what at the end? He was physical at the end of whatever he did. So if it was a rebound, it was post out, he would go get the rebound. If he had to contest, he would contest. He played like a, a Draymond, but more in control. Mm. And he wasn't as dirty. I'm not going to say, you know what I'm saying? Good he comparison. Had tactics where he wouldn't use his elbow. He'd use his body. You know, he would run into you and take the rebound. He would outwork you. Mm. Worm was like, could he play? Not only could he play in this league, but he would have been in problem because you had to be physical. You had to initiate physical contact with him yeah. to keep him off the boards. And guess what? He'll throw your motherfucking ass. So if you didn't have no strength, if you didn't have something where he respected, man, Warren was the whole problem. Man, had 49 rebounds in the game, bro. 49? That was the record, 49? Nah, yeah, it, it 40, I don't know about 49, 49 ticket. <laughs> Bro was 6'9 getting 49 rebounds. Do you hear what I'm saying? That's an engine. Man, that's an engine, bro. That's an engine. That's an engine. That's impressive. Either Niggas way. Didn't want to play against him either. Dennis Rodman was not only one of the best defenders, but he was one of the most feared. And you got to think about now, in today's game, all those long threes, those long rebounds, man, he'd have been chasing all that down. Man, yeah, that was, he'd never be getting a lot of rebounds. The game faster. Was crazy, for sure. I respect Worm, but Worm would be unplayable today. Because for the simple fact, you know, the, he thrived on his physicality on defense. He thrived on his hustle and his ability to ignite, ignite the crowd. But with the shooting today at that position, with the versatility at that position, you know, there's not every power forward in the league can shoot a three now. Now, would he have made the adjustment? I don't know. Maybe he would have. But like based on how he played his style to where the game is today, you practically be playing four on one on offense because the defense is so tough to play now. If you have Robin on the court, you, he gonna be the help guy. You gonna use his man to be like, all right, we gonna help out on KD, we gonna help out on Brown. You know what I'm saying? If you don't have the inability to shoot at the four or the five now, it's almost those players, you don't even see those players in today's game. What's up, everyone? Thank you all for stopping by Towns In. We sit at the bar, have a drink if you like, and just chop it up. So, do you all think that Dennis Rodman can play in today's NBA? So, I'm going to agree with uh, KG. I'm going to disagree with Paul Pierce. Here's my reason. So, when, when KG brought up Draymond Green, I thought that was a good comparison. But to me... Dennis Rodman is a is more athletic than Draymond Green. I think we could possibly say yeah, more physical. Um, and when you look at today's game, it's not like Draymond Green is knocking down a lot of threes. You know, he's he's passing, he's picking and rolling, setting screens, and getting people open. But when you look at Dennis Rodman, that's one of the skill sets that people don't really talk about. How good of a passer Dennis Rodman is. I mean. He's athletic. I think he's more athletic than Draymond Green. When KG talked about his engine, he probably has a, a stronger engine as far as just being able to run up and down the court and just being in shape. He's very smart. So I think his I think his game would be able to you know, translate. I think he would be, be able to adapt. I mean, I mean, some of the, you saw him shoot some jump shots every now and then. Like Dennis Rodman can score, but when you're playing with Michael Jordan. Scottie Pippen, Joe Dumas, Isaiah Thomas, and the game back then was different. I mean, he found his lane. All right, I'm gonna defend these. I'm gonna defend these jokers out here. I'm gonna get these rebounds. I'm gonna get all the rebounds. I'm gonna do all the dirty work. I'm gonna do whatever you know for my team to win. Like I said, the game was different, so I think he would definitely be able to to, to translate into today's game. He definitely locking up one to five. He playing one to five on defense today. So you know. 
you know, Paul Pierce may look at it like, I mean, he don't know who you're talking about, what he's talking about. Who is he? I mean, I'm just a guy. <laughs> I'm just a guy that, that watches basketball, you know, and, you know, love the game. But um, y'all let me know what you all think. Do you think that Dennis Rodman could play in today's game? Do you think his game would be able to translate? You think he would be able to adapt? I mean, you have people that's in the league now that, that can't shoot at all that's, that's playing, right? So if you got people in the league now that can't shoot, aren't, aren't really an offensive threat, but they're on the court because of their ability on defense that are playing in today's game, you don't think Dennis Rodman, a top 50 player of all time, can be able to do that? Y'all let me know what you all think. Y'all have a good one. I'm out, all right? Peace.